Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Fajo Molly. This episode, we are going back to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. During quarantine time, my biggest cravings have been authentic Ethiopian food, and I started missing my dear Ethiopian friends too. Ethiopia is one of my favorite African countries in terms of culture and culinary experience. This episode is a tribute to the lovely memory of this special place and its proud and friendly people. Now we are at my favorite restaurant in Addis Ababa, which is called Katna. I don't know if my pronunciation is right. So this restaurant has uh, overall the best traditional Ethiopian food that, like, among all the restaurants I've tested. In Ethiopia, people speak Amharic. English as a foreign language is not widely spoken. This restaurant has a bilingual menu and also offers some of the most signature traditional Ethiopian dishes. If you are new to Ethiopian cuisine, it might be difficult to read the menu despite the translation. In this case, you can always ask waiters for recommendations. Don't worry, everything here tastes good. Nothing can go wrong. At the moment, we are having breakfast, and what I've ordered is called chechepsa. Chechepsa, sometimes called kita firfir in Ethiopia, is shredded flatbread stir-fried with butter and Ethiopian spice mix called Burberry. The way locals like to eat is also to pour honey on top of the eggs, and then you mix everything together and eat. It's very, very tasty. So let's go. So this is honey. Right. And this one you eat with forks. So you take a little bit with honey and eggs. Mm. It's very, very tasty. It's a very intense flavor. It's a little bit spicy. Um, and mix with the eggs and the honey, a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit salty. It's very flavorful. The best thing for breakfast. The second dish of the breakfast I cooked is called the special food. It's mixed with different kind of sauce and eggs and some chili and onion, raw chili and onion. Fu or Fu Midamas is a common breakfast dish throughout Egypt and the Middle East. Ethiopia has its own version. Here, Ethiopian butter and spice mix are added in the stews of fava beans, which makes it super fragranced and spicy. This is also uh, one of the most uh, popular dishes for So this is my beautiful friend Faith here. She's driving me around tonight, showing me nice places. So Faith, tell me what is this place we are going now? So we're going to hire agency. I think it's been a year since it's opened. I'm not quite sure. We're just gonna have cocktails and maybe tea. It's just a nice place to just hang out. Hayat Regency is one of the top hotels in Addis. Its restaurant, bakery, and bars are popular high-end venues for rich businessmen, socialites, and international expats. Here you can find all the expensive Western delicacies and spirits. In the previous episodes of Addis, I have focused mostly on the folks and street culture. In this episode, Faith will take me to more upscale places like this and show me the other side of the city. By the way, Ethiopian cuisine are provided in most international hotels, but local restaurants down the street corner offer so much more authentic culinary experience with much more reasonable price. So don't be shy to explore. Me and my friend Faith, we are at this restaurant. What's his name? Marcus. Arcot. Okay. So Arcot is the restaurant we're going now. Be the bees lost Barcot. Oh bar oh my god. <laughs> okay. So this is the restaurant Barcot, but the B is missing currently. Alright, so this is the restaurant we're going today. 
Ethiopia has a very nutritious and healthy diet, also rich in spice and flavors. You can eat so well and never repeat your meal. As now it is religious fasting time of the year, it is not the best time to show you the rich variety of Ethiopian cuisine. But even the vegetarian meals are extremely tasty here. Let's see what you are eating. Okay, so this is the chili pepper, green pepper, and you eat the green pepper with injera、yes. and the chickpea. Is that chickpea paste? This is missy. Missy. Lentils. Lentils. Okay. So this is、uh, what people eat daily basis. Okay, it's vegetarian. Oh, so it's chickpeas. Shiro, this is the same as she ate before, right? And this is lentils. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. We just ordered all this food, and today we have only vegetarian food for dinner because、uh, now, as we said earlier, is、uh, fasting time. At the evening, they can eat dinner, but lots of people they only eat vegetarian food. Like my friend today, she only eats vegetarian food, so that's why we have nigeria with salads and different peas and beans. So this is the injera. Basically, you take a little piece of injera, wrap it around. So Ethiopia has great vegetarian food, vegan food. When you're well, fasting、right? almost half a year, you need to have really good、mm. vegetarian food. So vegetarians and vegans, you should come to Ethiopia to try the food here. It's so good. This is supposed to be the tallest building in Addis Ababa. Currently in construction. Let's see next time when I come back how it looks like. See you next time. Now we are arriving at the Sheraton Hotel. It is probably one of the most luxurious places in Africa. It is an understatement to call it a hotel. It is more like a royal palace with shining gold and marbles inside. Okay, all right. Now we are in front of the Sheraton Hotel. And then now we're going inside to have dinner.、Uh, there's an Italian restaurant Faith recommended to me. She says it's very nice food over there. So we're going to try if this beautiful Grand Hotel also has nice, nice Italian food. Let's go. Thank you. Do you know? Besides the famous Ethiopian coffees, Ethiopia also produces some of the best quality wines. Must try while you are here. To finish this class before we actually think. All right. Cheers. After some fine wines and dines, you can finally take a nice stroll in the Grand Garden area. Here is a beautiful music fountain with amazing light shows. I hope you enjoyed today's trip in Addis Ababa. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.